remember I told you I got a big golf match tomorrow. I'm gonna go in the backyard and practice. I already mowed the lawn, I already cleaned the garage. I need to practice. Try to keep the balls in the yard this time. Yeah, yeah. I wanna hit some balls in the backyard here. What's the harm in that? Hope you didn't see that one. is not working out. There has got to be a better way. Hey Brian, it's Bill. I need some golf help at my house right away. It's an emergency. Hey Bill, what's up? How did you get here so quickly? You said it was an emergency. So here's the deal Brian. I'm terrorizing the neighbors. The dog is mad at me. I'm breaking stuff. My wife wants to kill me. But what really bugs me is, I'm not getting any better either. Bill, I think you're going about this backyard practice thing all wrong, starting with the live ammo. If you use live ammo, you better get a net and don't stand too far away from it because I've seen you swing. What you really should be using, there's a lot of great products out there like the Almost Golf Ball. Feels great, flies great, doesn't hurt anything. Birdie Ball pretty much does the same thing. But you know, really what we have to work on is your backyard organization. Organization? What are you talking about? I'm just in the backyard here. Bill, knocking it around does no good anywhere. The backyard's a perfect place to organize. You gotta organize to a target with alignment and a swing thought. Bill, this is the organization I'm talking about. You put one out for your target, you've got one on the ground for your alignment, and you've got a third one to show you where the golf club goes. Take one of your softballs, get set up well, let's see you knock down that stick. That's what I'm talking about. That's the organization we're looking for rather than just chopping it around out here. Oh man, another golf emergency. I gotta go. So Bill, you're gonna get your sticks and do this the right way, right? I'm just gonna try this one more time my way. <laughs> 